League of Legends Unless you've been living under a rock, you've probably heard of this game. Since its launch in 2009, it has grown into one of the most popular multiplayer games in the world and has had great success as an eSport. But if you're a new player looking to get in on this sweet action, it could be a little daunting. Just one look at the roster of over 100 characters could be enough to scare you away, but that's where I come in. During my time on YouTube, I have become one of the most trusted and respected educators in the entire League of Legends community. Maybe your friend directed you here in hopes that you'd give League a chance, or perhaps you found this video on your own in your search for answers. You might be scared, you might be lost, but it's alright. BECAUSE I AM HERE! SO FEAR NOT, MOTHERFUCKER, CAUSE I'M ABOUT TO CHANGE YOUR WORLD! WITH THIS! TOTALLY LEGIT BEGINNER'S GUIDE TO LEAGUE OF LEGENDS! First things first, you need to know if League of Legends is the game for you. So before we go any further, you need to ask yourself a couple questions. Are you looking for a fun new game to play with a diverse cast of fun and interesting characters? Do you want to play a competitive game that will continually challenge you? Are you interested in working with a team towards a common goal? If you answered yes to all three, play Overwatch. But if you can't borrow daddy's credit card, then League of Legends is a 100% free alternative. That's right! Free! Of course, there are plenty of purchasable cosmetics that can be accessed through the in-game shop, but you can experience everything that League has to offer without spending a single penny. Now I know what you're thinking. How can a free-to-play game become so profitable? Well, it's all thanks to people like our guest at this time. Uh, K's Rooney? K's Rooney? Uh, K oh, fucking weebs. Hello, K's. How are you doing today? Wonderful, wonderful. So, you own every skin in the game, correct? Interesting. Oh, that is just so interesting. Uh, now, do you ever regret your decision? <laughs> I am gonna beat League of Legends. <laughs> it's thanks to people like K's that we can enjoy this game for free. Thank you, K. Anyway, let's get into the basics. League of Legends is a team-based game in which two teams of five work to destroy the enemy's nexus. There are three turrets and one inhibitor in each lane, followed by two towers defending the nexus. An in Don't be fooled. This isn't a game. Blah, 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 this is a prison. Blah, 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 this is a hell blah, 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 from which you can never escape. Save yourself. Run. Run as far away as you can. Don't even look back. Don't listen to anything anybody says. Just run. Just run. Trust me. You can, once you play, you can never escape. Once it gets you, you'll never get away. You'll never see your friends again. Please, just save yourself. Run for my mistakes. Just run. Oh no. No, it's coming. Oh god. Oh god. No, please. No. Not again. And ultimately push your way into the enemy's base and destroy their nexus. And because I always like to go above and beyond for you guys, I also went ahead and asked my Twitter followers what they thought would be some good advice. So here are some of those answers. You gotta be prepared to lose. It's gonna happen, and it's not the end of the world. Save yourself. Champions are rarely broken or overpowered. You just need the knowledge and experience to beat them. Get out. League of Legends is an objective-based game. Not a team deathmatch. Turn back! Kills on everything. Don't use camera lock. You smart ass motherfucker. Okay, rule number one. Don't listen to anybody. They don't know shit. As soon as you get in the game, slash mute all and save yourself the aneurysm. Trust me, it's not worth it. Rule number two. League of Legends is not just a game. Listen, if you want to have some casual fun, turn away now. Because what started as a fun game with some strategic depth has turned into a spectator sport. Now don't get me wrong, that isn't a bad thing. But you need to know what you're getting yourself into. There are 131 champions in the game. Each of those champions has at least four abilities and one passive. Some champions have multiple forms. Some champions have multiple passives. Some champions have fucking minigames. And don't think for one second that all you have to do is learn the popular champions because that changes every couple months when Ryan's balance team looks at the game and goes <laughs> and suddenly assassins are building tanky, there's five different dragons, and Swain is a popular pick. Fucking Swain! Rule number three, there is only one real game mode and that is 5v5 Summoner's Rift. This is what the game is balanced for and this is the only mode that matters. But Twitter Moto, what about Twisted Tree Line and ARAM? In an effort to bring you the most reliable information, I decided to venture into the unknown of these two irrelevant modes. I must warn you though, what you're about to see might cause great physical discomfort for tryhards. What the hell is he doing? What the hell is this shit? Oh my god, why would you do that? What the fuck is this? 
this wasn't worth it. Oh, Varus. That's actually pretty good for this map since the team with more poke generally has a better chance. Eh, I guess I'll trade. I can just re-roll and get a better champ. Oh, fuck that. Hmm. Hmm. Nope, not doing it. Rule number four. Coming in on the thread. <laughs> Don't, don't. <sighs> because the bear can thing we're out, the bear can thing we're out, the bear can thing we're out, and it wouldn't get the Um, bear. Oh, my oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Hey! <laughs> Read your fucking abilities! Rule number five. You probably aren't good enough to play the cool characters. Now, with so many characters in the game, there's bound to be at least one character that you'll see that'll make you go, oh, Holy shit, that's so cool! And you'll want to take them into the game. You'll save up your IP and finally unlock them, thinking that you're gonna go into the game and just da da da! But more than likely, it'll end up looking like da da da! Rule number six, ranked. Now I've mentioned this before, but I once took a psychology class, so I believe I'm fully qualified to analyze the motivations behind why people play ranked. My years of extensive research have shown that some of the top reasons why people play ranked are as follows. Number one, you hate yourself. So with those reasons in mind, it's easy to tell that people play ranked as a way of self-torture. So I've taken the liberty of compiling a list of far healthier forms of self-torture. Number one, you can beat League of Legends. Number two, you can believe that Onodera still has a chance. And number three, you can say something crazy in a public forum that will enrage an entire fandom. <sighs> Kyube did nothing wrong. Now if you've listened to everything I've said and I haven't already scared you off, then you're either crazy or a masochist. League of Legends is no longer a play for fun game. Losing a game in League of Legends sucks more than any other game because of the ridiculous amount of time dedicated to each match. It'll frustrate you, it'll piss you off, it'll ruin your whole fucking day, but all it takes is that one moment. That one turnaround that you never saw coming. That one satisfying play that reminds you why you put up with all the bullshit that comes with this game. League of Legends is a fucking terrible game, but at the same time, it is a fucking amazing game. To hell with making sense. If you want my honest opinion on whether you should start playing this game, no. There's no way I'd even make it to level 10 if I were to start today. There's just too much to learn at this point. But remember rule number one. Don't listen to what anybody says. So if you still want to try and get into this shit show, then fuck it. Go for it. Follow your dreams. Play what you want. Play who you want. Take risks. Throw games. Look up guides. Play ranked. Play ARAM. Enjoy the game however you want. And don't let anyone ever tell you otherwise. But if you play any of these champions, I swear to God, I will fucking find you, bend you over, and fuck.